Hello everyone, welcome to the practical series of computer networks. In this particular session, we will study about some Windows commands, some Windows utility commands to check the network connectivity and some more things. We get some information about the network for, for, for uh, about the host. The first command is the ping command. Now this ping command is used to check the reachability of a particular host or a network. Uh, we will see this command and then next is the trace route now this trace route command is uh, used to display the time it takes from for a packet to reach from source to destination okay so i've just opened up the command i've just opened up the command prom so this is the command prom okay now in this uh, case i will just type the ping message ping ping and i can either type the ip address of the destination or i can even type just the name Okay, just I'll just Google. I'll just type Google.com because I I have internet connectivity, so I can check this. So when I click this, okay, enter. So we get we are getting so this is reachable. So this Google.com is reachable, and we are getting this. Uh, this are the reply. Okay, so we are getting reply from that particular destination. Now we can also type the next command. There's a trace route. T R A C E. Trace R T. Okay. and again we can type it for Google itself it will tell us how much time it takes for the packet to return back okay. so this is the information we get okay how much time it gets it takes okay. so this is the output when we type this trace art google.com okay. So this is the trace is complete okay so this are the this is the required time okay. now let us come to the next command okay so next is the net stat okay so this network statistics so this particular net this particular command it provides the statistics about all active connections so that we can find out which computer the network is connected to okay so we can find out what how many uh, other devices are connected so there are some other forms of network commands. so these are the various other forms like uh, this comes in various types so some of the commonly used net set command is net set dash in command so this in dash in it this this net stat function shows the state of all configured interfaces then net stat dash a this is actually it shows the state of all sockets then dash as uh, this is actually as commands shows statistics for each protocol okay then also we have this dash r so we'll uh, just see type sub commands and check what we are getting so let us try with net stat dash in and also with that particular a okay so net stat in so this is okay it shows us what what uh, so these are the available commands it is showing what are the available commands now let us try with dash a okay the active connections okay so I'll just type a so these are the active connections in my network okay so many networks okay. similarly we can type dash s statistics it shows the statistics okay so this gives the network statistics so how many packets are received there whether any header errors received address errors and so on okay. so these are some network utility commands next let us go to next command is ARP ARP is address resolution protocol so we have some ARP commands they are used to display view and modify the information available in ARP packets so the common ARP commands this is ARP a this command is used to display the ARP table for a particular IP address okay and then we have ARP G is the same as ARP a then we have ARP D it is used to delete an entry from the ARP so these are the various ARP commands now let us try this on the command prompt okay we'll just type ARP then dash a 
okay so this gives us the arp information that this is the internet address and this is the physical address okay so we are given this is the internet address ip address with the physical address it, it is mapping the ip address with the physical address okay there are also some more commands now let us get to the next one so this is ip config so it is internet protocol configuration it is used to display and manage the ip addresses assigned to the machine okay so let us see what we get when we type this ip it is it can it will display the and it can we can display the ip address is assigned to the machine let us see so i just type it ip config fig config okay so this oh, i type the wrong, wrong one this ip config c o and i type it mistakenly so this is the ip config command we get this information okay ip address as well as the other uh, net default gateway subnet mask okay and the local link local ipv6 address then get mac so get mac is a windows command used to display the media access control address for each network editor in the computer okay so we can type this particular uh, command and then we have the host name now the host name is the label that is assigned to a device so what is the name of our computer okay that will give so let us try these two commands get mac and host name so get mac m a c get mac so we get this information for the get map mac okay it gives the hardware address and then host name host name so the host name of my pc is m339 okay then uh, see more some more commands ns lookup so using this command we can find the corresponding ip address or the domain name okay so if we want to know the domain name if we have the domain name we want to find the ip address or if we have the ip address we want to find the domain name we can use this ns lookup okay like suppose i type this ns lookup let's look up and type the name of the do of any like if you just type google.com so i don't know the ip address of this so it will return me the ip address okay so this is the ip address as we can see okay then uh, we see this path ping so this command sends multiple echo request messages to each router between the source and the destination okay so uh it is similar to the ping command okay this is but this will send multiple packets through various available paths so that we can diagnose uh, if if there is any problem in any of the path this will return that particular thing that how much time it is taking for that particular uh packet it will take a long time to get diagnose this so i'm just skipping this part you can try it. then finally we have the system info now this command is used at the display detail it, it is used to display the detailed configuration about the computer okay so whatever system we are using it will it will tell us the detailed in get us a in detailed information so system info okay we'll dial this command so this is what we get okay this is the this is the information about the system okay entire entire system okay the network and the so uh, and the information about the os operating system version okay the time zone and etc this is about the our system so this is how all these commands were well, there are many other commands but we have just some just few commands so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching